All right, so I figured out that WebStorm thing, and I just want to show it to you just because there's probably somebody out there who's like, I want to see it. And my approach as an instructor is always to try to be as thorough as possible and to give as much information as possible and then let you sort it out, <laughs> what you want and what you don't want. I'd rather give you too much than not enough. I'd rather have you saying, okay, I could skip this video than saying, I wish there was a video on that. Anyhow, that's my philosophy as a teacher. So I'm going to show you how to change the formatting in WebStorm that WebStorm applies, applies to uh, HTML. And uh, it's just been a while since I did it, so I didn't want to take camera time and your time to go dig around and find it. Anyhow, here it is. And so let's say I have that heading deal, and I'm going to duplicate that, Control D. And then I'm going to move it down, and again, key map reference. And this might seem, when you're starting out with coding, like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> are you kidding me? I have to remember all that. But what, what you, you've got to know is this is your tool. These are your tools. And when you get good with an editor, that's why people don't want to switch from Sublime. They figured out all these shortcuts, and they're like, I don't want to have to learn all that stuff again. But it's kind of like, you know, it's like a Marine with his gun. He knows how to break that gun down. He knows where every spring, screw, fly, whatever, where all that stuff goes in the gun. He knows it inside and out, right? And uh, it's like any craftsperson. You know, when you are doing some sort of a craft, you know it intimately, you know the tools, a woodworker, whatever. This is this is our tool. So there's also control Y and control D. Control Y deletes a line. I want alt shift up down. That's what I want. Move a line up or down. So right there, that's what I wanted to show you. So here I've duplicated that alt shift down arrow. So now I'm moving that down through my code. And uh, I'm going to just duplicate this twice. Control D, and then take the comments off both. And then I'm going to do it once here, the old, gosh, I already have it set. So now I need to unset it. This is the new way. It's working. <laughs> and I could come in here, and I could go to File, Settings. And the first thing I kind of searched for, I just went up here and Format. That didn't give me what I was looking for. So I went to, oh, probably HTML is a better thing to search for. And then I came down to HTML and code style looked promising, HTML code style. And when I first came here, it was tabs and indents, and then I went to other. And then it was like insert new line before. Well, that should work. So I clicked this button, and it had H1, 2, 3. It did not have 4, 5, or 6. So without those, right, when I do this, control duplicate that line, you know, uh, I'm going to hit tab and El Crapo. Right? That's not what I want. So if I come back and I turn that on, File, Settings, and go in there and then hit that little thing, Insert New Line Before, and add an H4, and add an H5, and then add an H6. Uh, H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cool. Right? Do all that. And now when I do this, cross your fingers. <laughs> Nice. And also when I do my code reformat code, it reformatted that other one according to my specified code style. So I'm going to get rid of all these things here. And you can see the green line right there. How cool is that? That green line inside WebStorm saying, hey, this is what has not been committed and pushed yet. And incidentally, if you're not seeing line numbers, just right click over here in the gutter and choose show line numbers. Right, so you have a couple of choices right there. So I'm just going to put this back the way it was. Now there's no green line, so nothing has changed since the last time I was here. And, uh, and that's how you change inside WebStorm uh, that funky thing about H4, 5, and 6 not going to their own line. And also how you start using preferences or settings, depending upon your Windows or Mac, uh, to change the way WebStorm formats your HTML.